Bakasi so, issue was a bit different. Uh, okay. They had a, what I call it, a quasi sort of legal or investigative system. They had this, um, from the story, they had mm. this, maybe it was court class or something that mm. they used to check, you know, if you are guilty, Trans- it's a particular color, yes, yes, that you yes, get, you know. Yes. Mm. So, mm. unlike the ones that happened, After you know, that. The, that, that, you know, that you see now, yeah. you know, nobody checks anything. It's just, hey, only. And that's the end. And that's you, know, the you don't end. Yeah. you don't even need any check after that. But there, even if you say somebody is maybe a thief or something, they do that check. You know, until that change happens, they don't take any action. Hello everyone, good day and welcome to another interesting and exciting episode of Paul's Hot Takes. For those who don't know what the show is about, we pretty much give you our take regarding topical issues, trending topics, and we give it to you hot, hot as E-Day hot. My name is Rachel M.M. Isaac and I will be hosting the session today. I have here with me people that I'd like to introduce to you as my co-host because we pretty much do everything together on the show. We have a regular and a first-time guest on the show today. Today. Yeah. To my left, I have the very good looking young man in white. Every time you introduce them as good looking, they look like say they know you ugly before. <laughs> you would you have preferred me introducing you as a war person. No. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome Victor to Paul's Hot Take today. How are you Thank doing? You. Very well. You look like traffic dealt with you small today. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mele, bit. you're here now. We're about to have fun. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. And to my right is Lanky Lanky, the yeah. Lanky one, or Dion. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Welcome to Post Hot Takes. I guess we'll be having fun today with Rachel as our host. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang. All right, guys. So today's topic is very, very, very sensitive. And this is us trying to... <sighs> do justice to the topic as much as we can without getting into trouble yeah yeah so today we're asking why jungle justice is still a thing in nigeria so for in the past or in the last two weeks we've had like different cases like three different cases in different parts of nigeria the first being deborah samuel who was killed for blasphemy in Shokoto State, and the next being two guys who um, were allegedly thieves, mo- motorcycle thieves. They stole Okadas, according to people, and then they beat both of them up, and one ended up losing his life. And the third one, which happened here in Lagos, Lekki Phase One, to be precise, here about a young man, Dave, who was killed for allegedly getting into a fight with Okada riders in Lagos over 100 naira. So now it's just very annoying that this is still a thing in Nigeria. This is like a decade after the Alu 4 incident yeah, that shook yeah, the world and it's true. still happening. So before we get into the topic for today, I'd like to ask for someone watching right now who doesn't know what justice, jungle justice means, could you please shed some light on what it means to you? Uh, thank you very much, Rachel. Jungle justice is um, a traditional public extrajudicial killing. Um, there's a crowd the crowd feel that somebody is guilty for whatever so there are like the, the judge the jury the accusers uh the investigators you know and they feel okay this person is guilty so let's kill them they pretty much so, take laws into their hands and they settle everything there mm-hmm. you know that's and, what it is and to you Odion, what does it mean to you yeah it's pretty much of everything uh, victor just said it's it's taking laws into your hands feeling like um okay so i i think most times when people do this jungle justice thing uh, let me just stick to the definition though so jungle justice is people actually just saying um okay somebody has committed a crime um it's probably stolen money or stolen an okada or stolen from a supermarket or a shop and they feel like oh around this place this is not allowed uh we don't condone uh thefts Such. yeah so what we're going to do now is before the authorities or the police they get here we're going to treat this um issue because this is how we see crime here it's not tolerated so you now say okay oh yeah now everybody says yes we're on the same page oh, yeah put a tire and um you know set the person on fire or maybe beat the person to death you know as the case may be it's a typical a typical example is the one that happened the alu four incident that happened in port Harcourt, um over that a decade case, over, was there. yeah mm-hmm. over over a decade ago and how how certain people just took the laws into their uh 
into nice. their hands and just killed four 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 young men you know we've seen these things happen all over, over nigeria and over and over and over again I was having a conversation with um, a colleague before um, we, we started shooting, and the person said we can trace this back to when um, the Bakasi Vigilante group started in Anambra or in the East years ago, over over two decades ago, and how they felt, oh, the police were not doing enough, enough to curb criminality, crimes in the East. Their markets were being boggled, and people were being robbed in daylight. Banks were robbed in daylight, and they felt like, okay, since the police are not doing anything to help us, um, let's let's become our own helper. You know, and they formed the Bakasi, and they felt the Bakasi was like the next to Jesus Christ, that like they were not going to lie. If they actually find out that you're, you're a thief, then they don't have a prison. They don't have a judge. So what do you do? Just set yes. the person on fire. So these things were dated to back. I'm sure it, maybe it happened earlier than that, but we can trace this back to um, two decades ago when these guys were like the police of the East and how they kind of um, affected their own justice on, on people. Yeah, so that's why I think about um, jungle justice and, 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 and um, the, origin. the origin. Yeah. yeah. All right. The Bakasi so issue was a bit different. Uh, okay. They had a, what I call it, a quasi sort of legal or investigative system. They had this, um, from the story, they had mm. this, maybe it was Cutlass or something, that mm. they used to check, you know, if you are guilty, Turns it's a particular color, yes, yeah. that like yes. you get, you know. Yes. So, mm. unlike the ones that happened, After you know, that. The, that, that, you know, that you see now, yeah. you know, nobody checks anything, it's just, hey, only. And that's the end. And that's you, know, the you don't end. Yeah. you don't even need any check after that. But there, even if you say somebody is maybe a thief or something, they do that check. You know, until that change happens, they don't take any action. Yeah. You know, so so for them there was, you know, at least a little bit of uh check. Uh, know, but but even know. even if there was uh, a little bit of check or they had to check people with their cutlass and everything, it's still it's still jungle justice. Yes, it is. Because yeah. you're not you're not you're not you're not taking the person to the court um to for the judge to find the person it's guilty the of the crime mm -hmm. and anything. You're just saying, Oh yes, he has been caught stealing five cartons of uh, Indomie or five cartons of um, whatever it is of milk. And you're saying, okay, yeah, so he has to go now because we don't conduct criminality, we don't conduct theft in this area. So now you're killing the person. Even if they had, if there was legal, even if the government at that time, the state government were, um, um, found these guys like legal, but at the same time, it was still jungle justice, which is, which is illegal. Okay, yeah. so, so back to what you both of you have said about Bakasi. I remember that time, well, when I was um, a lot younger, they made a movie yes, called Sakaba. The Sakaba. Yeah, it was I a, remember it was, it was like, a, it I was remember a, how yeah, it was a three horrific, part movie. Like it was just three parts. I'd be eight. I mean, no, it was three no, parts. Sakaba one, one, one two, Sakaba two, two, and two Sakaba three. three. It was more than three. No, I remember I, seeing like six. No, those were other, six, other, six, other so movies. Then. Other With movies. Sakaba. Yeah, Sakaba was just Sam, three. Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh, it was I just remember three. seeing. Well, possible. I remember mm. seeing more than three. Maybe I saw the Aba version of. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I saw the Aba version of of Sakaba, but that was what they did. They just they don't just say you're guilty or kill you on the spot. If you actually do something, because they know that a lot of people out of maybe hatred or jealousy would want to um unlawfully um accuse you of something true, so they make true. sure that it is true that you did the crime that you've been accused of yeah. and this just reminds me of one time that i was in the wrong place at the wrong time because that will bring, uh, bring us to the next question regarding okay. the dave guy yeah. based on what his in-law said he was like a victim of circumstance the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time, time and okay. then he got caught i don't know allegedly because we do not have proof someone said someone said it's not enough to tell us what exactly happened true. so i literally was I think in Ojodu, Ojodu Grammar School bus stop, and I was I think I was trying to get a, an Okada somewhere, and some guy, one man that I had never seen before in my life, walks up to me and he says to me, Shabi, I don't catch you today. Shabi, I don't catch you today. And as this guy was saying, he was charging towards me like he was going to come. So in my head, I was like, oh, he probably has seen me somewhere, like maybe a I'm modern show or TV or something. Mm -hmm. So I was smiling. And then after a while of smiling and smiling, I was like, okay, this guy is not joking. I was like, hold up, hold up. And then it was like, you, you thief my money. I carry you that night. You still thief my money. And you didn't say, God, no, go catch you. God, don't catch you today. And in my head, I was like, so as that was happening, before I knew, people were gathering. Yeah. Like, and in my head, I'm like, 
I don't even know you. And she was like, my friend, come here. I'm talking to you. Something, something. So, and then someone like came and tapped him. I said, calm down now. The baby said she don't know. He was like, this girl at thief. No worry. I know you now. He now this way. He now brought out his phone. He was not like, I go proof to now say I know the babe. He now brought out the phone and dialed a number. And the phone started ringing. And then it wasn't my number. And that was my saving grace. Wow. So, I was not saying that if for any reason at that moment, someone who knew me called me for real and the phone started ringing no one would have heard whether it was his number As or my is. number yeah. that would have been been it yeah. so there's some people who are in the wrong place at the, the wrong, wrong time, time and they just it just so happens that mm. these things so i want to also ask you i have almost witnessed a thing like that i want to ask you have you ever witnessed or been a victim or I do was, you know anyone who has been a victim of jungle justice i was almost a victim to share with us yeah i i stayed on the island for I schooled in Benin, right? So I came to Lagos sometime 2004. So I stayed on the island, you know, for about uh, three, four, five years. Okay. So, you know, you know, Lagos Island, you always have this, these fights, have these issues, guys, gangs, groups. Yeah, yeah. So at that time, there was one fight and I had clo- I just closed, you know, closed late from work and I was on my way home. And I just had, you know, this guy running behind me saying, ah, Shen, are you? Shen, are you? And he had, you know, he had a bottle. The way he held it, like he was going to stab, stab you. you. <sighs> I ran for my life. I was still young then. So my legs were carrying me. I ran and ran. I ran for, you know, some steps, you know, about, about 100, 200 meters thereabouts. And the guy kept on coming. All right. So what happened was there was another guy that I knew that one was really big. I knew in the area, really huge. So that guy stopped the other guy chasing me. So he immediately stopped him. He held the hand with the bottle. Uh, with the bottle. He held the hand. I was like, ah, kill you, D. And I was like, Eli, Eli, Eli. I said, Eli, what? I don't know you. I don't know anything about this. I don't, I don't know why he's chasing me. So when, immediately I said that. He said, okay, ah, Eli, you're so English. Eli, you're so English. Ah, oh, not Eli. Wow. Meaning the person he was chasing could not speak, speak English. English. You understand? But probably just looked like why? me. Why? Wow. And, you know, I was. So if not, if that other guy was not there, Maybe that thing would have, Probably you know, have found his way you. somewhere. Yeah. 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 So, same thing, you know, wrong place, wrong, wrong time, time yeah. you know, wrong situation, sure. wrong everything. But was I guilty? No. No. Who would have you heard know? you when yeah. you had started? I would have been bleeding. Probably, yeah. You know, I, would, I, would I wouldn't be able to even say you. anything. Yes. Just mm-hmm. like the Alu 4 guys, you know, they were being beaten, they were bleeding. They couldn't even talk. So, you know. And your Dion, have you? <laughs> well, no, I've never, no, I've or never do you know been. Anyone who has? I, I, I think there was an incident that happened a long time ago. Growing up, um, a, a guy came to rob a street, and um, so where I grew up in Benin is this very private kind of area where people, you, everybody knows everybody. It's very quiet, and it's weird when somebody comes to rob there. So the guy was caught, and. Uh, it was during an ASO strike. So every young person around that neighborhood that was in uni, they were at home. So I was in secondary school, like maybe SS1. Mm-hmm. And the guy was tied. He actually came to rob somebody's house, but he was caught because uh, if you live in that area, it's going to be very difficult for you to rob somebody and not get caught. So he he was tied and everybody came out. It was it took the divine intervention of all the um elderly men that are living the landlords in the areas to say no we're not doing that to this guy let's just wait till um we get the police to come and the police finally came and they um put the guy in the truck and they took him away from the from the street because it was people were getting agitated like people wanted to just like you know yeah, let's let's set him up on fire and like are you guys really sure you want to do Ready. this like why 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 do you guys want to yeah so so sometimes um I, I still see the jungle just is illegal. It's it's a it's a crime. I, I think it's because Nigeria doesn't have a I always say it every time, like we have the wrong laws. Like we take we take so much um, interest or too much we pay so much attention to the wrong laws. There are laws that are supposed to govern our daily lives that were supposed to be like, you know, moving forward, like yeah, we have to do this. Like a person cannot even be caught stealing or doing anything that you feel is wrong. And you have the right to set the person on fire. It's it's a totally big no. You're supposed to um, probably wait till you get the law enforcement officers and say, okay, yeah, this person has done this. We feel this person has committed a crime, and let's take this person to 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 the prison. But like you said earlier, um, when communities have been robbed yeah, uh, continuously, yeah. and people feel like ah, it's getting too much. You are getting 
nobody's coming to our rescue. When you call the police, the police comes like three hours after. So and people are like, still done nothing's still guys. done. Yeah. So probably somebody's saying, okay, well, if we use this one as a scapegoat, maybe oh, that's another person not. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I guess that's the reason a lot. But it's at the end of the day, it's still wrong. It's still a crime. You do not have the right to kill anybody. If you do anything, if you, if you come, if you, if you're, if you're, if you're part of the people who do this um, jungle justice thingy, is that you're as, you're as guilty as a person a who, who, who is paid, who an assassin, yes. who is paid to kill somebody, yes. uh, who is paid 100k, 200k, or millions, or whatever it is to kill somebody. You're as guilty as that person. You are as guilty as the person who robs a bank and kills people in the premises as a result of trying to get, get access into the bank. You're as guilty as every single criminal in the prison. The fact that you were just there and shouting, yes, burn them, burn them, kill them, kill them. <laughs> you are guilty you are you are a criminal you deserve to be in prison i don't care what the person has done if the person has killed people the person or has committed a crime that you find is grievous you should hand over the person to the authorities that's a question i always have is regular justice sometimes gets it wrong yeah so, well, yeah, why do you too. now feel that your own type of justice, justice. is getting you right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. True. You know? True. Why do you feel? Because sometimes some some people that they are accused, by the time they check, they were not there in the first place. Yeah. Remember that they say do things, but the time they investigate, they were, they were, they were, yeah, they have, they, 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 no they, yeah, there have been cases, there have been cases of uh, people being in prison for years. Yes. Um, they were they, they were yeah. the wrong, wrong place. Wrong so, 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 yeah, yeah. so when I was, when I was very little, yeah, this is to digress. When I was very little, there was a story of a guy that was, you know, then they used to do this firing squad thing. Yes. they kill people by firing squad. I used to yeah. shoot on TV. And there was a guy who was about to kill. And the guy just said, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I did not commit this crime. And he was singing. Uh, I was kind of, you know, that kind of, that thing put something in my head for years. Like, this happened when I was a child. I can literally remember how that guy was crying and singing now on TV before he was tired, before the drum and everything, and he was shot. So sometimes, because people were at the wrong place at the wrong time, they're taken to prison, and the judge feels like, yeah, okay, yeah, they said, so nobody's bringing any better evidence. So now you've actually committed the crime. And that's, so why do you feel, if a judge is giving the wrong judgment, you too, you the person who's just passing and saying, oh, the guy stole a carton of this, or stole an entry, yeah, just a just TV. Said, yeah. yeah, so why do you feel Your you have the right? right. Yeah, why do you feel like you have the right to actually um, um, kill that person? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I always feel jungle justice is illegal, it's a crime. Nobody deserves to die that way. It's been um, over a decade of the Alufo incident. In fact, that video leaves red frame in my head. I can still remember all the gory images. It felt like a scene from one horror movie yeah very very bad i remember that after that time they came and said they had caught some of the guys behind the killings and the family members a lot of protests here and there musicians like mi released songs so what impact would you say that's the whole scenario what impact would you say it had on jungle justice nothing no impact <laughs> no impact. I mean, we're still here. yeah it's it, we uh we are good with dealing with symptoms of problems you know nigeria has problems but those problems produce certain symptoms yeah so we just see the symptoms then run to you know attend to it maybe put money to it do protest about it promise all sorts you know but, but that is it's still the there. symptom you know what is the problem you know why do people feel they have to take laws into their hands that's yeah. what you have to deal with you know i i feel that there is a uh societal failure let me put it that way there is a there is there's a failure of the society yeah right so so that has produced the type of people that think jungle justice is okay that has produced uh the type of leaders that you complain about every day yeah that has produced the police that you feel is not doing anything because yeah. they are all from the same society so mm. the society thinks that way so all the society produces they all think the same way same way you know so until you deal with the you know problem. that yeah the that problem. problem the yes. society yes. whatever you do is just make up yeah mm-hmm. true you true. know what i do is just make up so all those songs all those we do this all those we find the people we will investigate all make up i mean you know all make up people have to understand that you just don't take laws into your hands you just don't do that 
you know yes the person is guilty because you think it, 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 the person is guilty right so but why not let the proper thing happen mm-hmm. all right let the proper people but even the proper people that should come and do that investigation in that alone for they were there they were, there were about there. three police even officers in the, in the crowd the, the one right? in lagos that happened in lecky they were there, they were there. But so they couldn't control the crowd yeah so so, wow. the, so sometimes it's wow. about controlling the crowd sometimes it's about protecting the people that are being at least go and stand with them you know call for backup or something i don't mm. know how how that works but find a way to do your job all right find a way to do your job so until we'll deal with those problems we will keep fighting having the same symptoms yes. yes all right so what do you think can be done to curb jungle justice in nigeria done it's a very simple thing okay um like you said is it yeah, it's a very oh. it's a very simple thing. When Nigeria decides to walk, <laughs> we won't have jungle justice. We won't have um, unnecessary accuse. We won't have problems that people, some countries have not experienced in decades, in years. We won't have these issues. Now, see, it's let me let me break this thing down for you. Um, a society that works will have police officers mounted in different areas busy areas places that you feel are red flags where things can go wrong Mm -hmm. places that you feel are very busy places that you feel like oh one one little accident can cause another thing or blah 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 imagine if you had um police officers stationed yeah i get they said they were police officers who couldn't do anything there and all that stuff well imagine a country where people obey the rules and regulations when somebody's caught stealing, I don't think the next person will be thinking of how to stab the person and anything. Because the person is thinking, uh, if I if I should do this, I'm going to get arrested. You know that, right? So if you're saying, how do we curb um, jungle justice? That's like saying, um, how do I tell a baby to stop um, peeing on himself until he's <laughs> five? Because in Nigeria, it's going to... We were talking about Alu for That was like over a decade ago. And we are talking about something that happened last week in yeah, Sokoto. Something that happened in Lekki. And something that happened in Edo, Edo State. States. These are the ones that were even recorded. And let me let me um, let me say something about the Alu Four thing. I think the reason the Alu Four was very popular was because that was then Nigerians started getting very used to social media. Like we were very get, we were getting familiar with it and we we're using it a lot at that time. That was ten years ago. So which means they had we've had incidences before that. We've had even after that probably because you didn't have people recording these things. Mm-hmm. People just be like, ah, oh, I had because I I think there's. Because I work in media and 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 because you're in media, you have privilege to see stories early before people see it. I've yeah. seen so many stories where people talk about lynching and all that. And it doesn't really get the media coverage because yeah. maybe the person that was lynched was a nobody or probably just happened in one area and the whole thing just died. And you probably pass and they'll say, oh, somebody was just killed here like a few hours ago. They just bumped somebody here. And we're moving on to tomorrow. Yeah. like You know, so you say, I don't think, you saying, oh, what's going to be the solution? Um, oh, that's like fixing Nigeria, fixing the whole country. When you fix a country that is not working, like this country now that is not just working at all, Nigeria is not working. We're just, we're just working on a thin thread. We're just working on, inshallah, let's wake up every day. And because I keep saying, I was saying it in the office a few, a few minutes ago. I was like, you're just one minute away from being in the wrong place. You're one minute away from entering one wahala that does not consign you. See your your incident now. Somebody saw someone that looked like, looked you, like you and was about I was like ready someone. to attack you yes, and all that stuff. Yes. K- people have been killed in universities over mistaken identity. People have been killed in restaurants, bars over very very like issues that were not meant to mean anything like people have been killed because of these things and nobody and some and people who killed them got away with it so we're talking about crime that like people just move on like oh yeah he, he messed up now that's why he was killed oh he was at the wrong place and that's why and people moved on with their lives but that's somebody's family yeah. now the guy that was killed in lecky has a wife has, has kids children and they probably had plants they probably were thinking of that guy. Probably had something to do this weekend. Maybe there was a birthday party. He was actually there to work. According yeah. To what so he probably doing. had he probably had plans. He probably had ki- uh, things uh, things he had lined up for his family. The girl that was killed in Sokoto. The parents were probably waiting for her to come back home for the holiday. The ones that were killed in Edo State probably had things they were going to do the following day. But all those things were cut short because of the overzealousness of 
I'll call them. I don't want to call them irritant youths because it might be elderly people there st- instigating yes, these things. Yes. Yeah. So you have people all over who are going to like say yes, you don't commit crime. Yes, or you kill them, or you kill them, and you know. So, like it feels like people are just putting like you just put your frustration on somebody and be like yes let the person die because you're you angry know. because you're angry you know you're not putting your frustration on somebody else that's but, but, that's some, but that's somebody's life yes that's somebody's child now those families they're going to mourn for the rich you know what it is to lose a family member let's say even the family member that dies naturally say you lose a grandma Sickness a grandma that dies at 98 age. and that's 98 old but to you that's somebody personal as close to you you're going to feel it you're going to cry your your friend might not cry because oh that's your grandma now we're going to boogie you're going to celebrate your grandma's burial but that's your close person now talking about someone that's young and also thinking of all the pain that they went through not being able to speak for themselves you know like, right like praying to god god before. can 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 you save me before this happens no. and nobody to save them each time as you said that now my mind just goes back to that same i for video yeah yes. because i remember one of those guys they were just throwing the stones on their head you know pouring the foil on them and the guy was there was something he was trying to pick on the floor i was totally helpless they had stopped begging they had stopped they could not do anything, anything anymore you know they just wanted to survive at yeah, that time at that but time yeah you know, so- it. now just think about the people that did that the people that witnessed it those people now probably maybe they've joined the the military yeah maybe they've joined the police some of them, some of of them are yeah. senators yes all right so, so what do you think they will be doing in those places in those offices that they hold exactly they'll be doing the exact same thing yeah because in the first place they saw nothing wrong with it so mm-hmm. you just have this new scenario where the society just keeps producing these sets of people that that's, same that's what it is for me yeah. same set. you know yeah. and most of the time we now complain of leaders the leaders came from this society. It's from society, yeah. They were brought up in these societies. True. They were taught that this Same is beliefs. how it works. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, somebody doesn't agree with you, kill him. Yeah. All right. We okay. Like when you get on Twitter now, if you don't agree with anybody, the person starts insulting you, insulting your mother, True. insulting your grandfather. Come on, you. we can't. We don't need to agree. We're on the same you know, topic. We, we don't yeah. need to agree. You can have your opinion. I can have my opinion. All right, but let's be together. Do you, you understand? All right, we could go on and on and on. I can see us getting very emotional and I can see that this is very sensitive, a topic that we cannot exhaust. Like we could go on and on talking yeah. about this. So this is it. Not too long ago, I'm, I'm summarizing right now. Not too long ago, I saw a video online on, I think, Pulse Ghana or Pulse Nigeria. I don't know of where a guy and a thief, someone who they caught stealing something was beaten. So now the fun, the funny part about the video was the guy, they had beaten the guy to a point where when they saw that he was getting tired, they now gave him food to eat. It's- so that they would Continue give him more. Him. So that was funny. It didn't make. It doesn't make. It doesn't justify the fact that oh, the fact that they were treating him nice. It doesn't justify the fact that that was wrong. Yes, it was wrong. Yes, it was too wrong. But I kind of feel like I would have preferred that because at the end of the day, they were trying to prove to the guy that you do bad thing. No, mm. not be someone won't kill you, but we won't use you as example. So chop, get yourself me round two be mm-hmm. again. I'm not saying that that's a, the way to go about it, but I'm just saying that anything but death. Trust me, no one deserves to lose a family. If if they, if it gets to the hands of the judge or the law, and then that's what the verdict that the person yeah, is giving. Yeah, that's fine. Fine, all well and good. You know that. Oh, you did do. Can it? Um, I don't know. I can't think of any word right now. But anything but death. It is painful to watch, and I imagine people who woke up on the same beds as these people or these people that you've killed. So it's it's just wrong. And on that note, we've come to the end of today's episode of Paul's Hot Take. So if you agree or do not agree with anything that we've said here, if you have any contributions whatsoever, do let us know in the comment section below. My name is Rachel MMI. I've been hanging out with Victor and Odion. See you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you. Have a nice time.